Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Sundays with Shu. I'm so sorry that I haven't posted it in a while, pretty much since quarantine began, but if you have been following me on other channels, you'll see it's because I started posting regularly on TikTok, which has been taking a lot of time um, away from YouTube, but I really apologize for that. I've been trying really hard to find time to post on both channels. Second half of the year goal is to be able to make content for both YouTube and TikTok to keep you all happy because I love you guys as fans and I want to make sure that you're getting enough shoe time. But just to give you guys an update on what life has been like in my world in the last three months, yeah, this March, I'm so sorry, yeah, March was probably the last time I posted. I guess I've been a lot more productive since quarantine started because I just have so much more time for me now. You probably notice as well, there's no obligation to go out to social events and I don't have to go and network and um, I don't get FOMO seeing other people go out so I don't feel obligated to go out and so all that time that has been freed up from socializing has now been put into my career so I, um, I, I've been doing acting classes I just started doing auditions again um, my TikTok videos take so much time I film like two three times a week for my TikTok videos editing those has been really time consuming as well I, I also have been doing um, my old finance job back in Australia so that takes a lot of my night times because I'm still working on Australia time so pretty much from like 3 p.m. till midnight I'm working on that so it leaves me editing and filming in the morning and that's pretty much my life I'm done I have no time for anything else so it's been great because had I been socializing I would not have discovered TikTok and I definitely won't be posting as much on there I guess I've always wanted to create skits and videos that are funny and engaging and relatable and relevant and I, I never found that the things I created really took off on Instagram or, or YouTube but on TikTok I guess it just has a very powerful organic reach that the people who like my content can see it and it's really encouraging that you guys like my content because it makes me want to make more so I'm so grateful for all my followers for following me and for commenting and telling me how much they like my videos and I finally feel like I found my home for making content so I want to make TikTok the place that I create and put out skits so if you haven't followed me on TikTok feel free to do so I'm at the one shoe and you can see all of my funny like content there and on YouTube I want to focus on making more like vlogs and you know chatting to camera and telling you guys about my my life and sharing with you guys because I think that this is where you'll get to know the real me. I've been so lucky that during quarantine uh, Brendan and Alan Chow who you'll see a lot of my TikTok videos we kind of became this like TikTok trio and making videos together and that's really really gotten me through quarantine I don't know how you guys have been dealing with quarantine not being able to go out or go to school or go to work I honestly would not have survived quarantine if it weren't for them so I'm so 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 grateful to them for being by my side throughout all of this. In my last video I talked about this short film that I was making and all of that got put on hold because of quarantine. I haven't really been able to move forward with that. I guess America is starting to open up now in terms of the filming in certain cities like Atlanta they're opening up with filming but on the grand scheme of things it's still very closed off here so I have been quite hesitant in making content that requires like more than four people at a time especially with people that I haven't been working with during quarantine so I don't know when that project will kick back up but I still would love to make proper short films and movies I, actually I've been working on this feature film with a friend of mine and things are happening in that realm too early to speak about but yeah still trying to create content for you guys in the mainstream area I actually for the first time am not so 
heavily focused on landing an audition and booking a job because I feel, other than the money side of things, I just feel so content making these skits for you guys and being so creative about it. Earlier this week I posted a video of me doing a prank on Brandon and getting him to drink salt instead of sugar. Um, and I have to say, pranks are not my forte. Hey, I am not good at keeping straight faces, planning pranks, and uh, uh, and trying to like catch people out. I am, it's not my forte. I wish it was, but it's not. I've got to get better at it. Do you guys have any tips? Because I would love to keep pranking my friends, but I always feel like it backfires or they just see it coming from a thousand miles away. But today I will show you guys the full video of the prank. <laughs> I don't know. If you actually like what you see, let me know. I'll try to work out a better way of doing it. Enjoy. Hey guys, today I'm gonna prank Brendan. I'm gonna make him drink some iced tea and instead of giving him sugar, I'm gonna give him salt. He deserves it because he was making fun of my Australian accent the other day. It's not very nice. So I just got some salt from the corner store. I'm gonna add it to this jar. I'm going to add it to this jar. Oh, there's another bag inside the bag. Woo, I got pranked by this company. It literally looks like it's come from the ocean. It still feels wet inside. Whoa, I've never tried this salt. I hope it's potent. This salt is like still damp from the ocean. Does it look like sugar? Yeah, it'll work. Brandon will believe anything I say to him until I do this and then he's never gonna believe me again. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> does that look like sugar? Oh, it kind of does, yeah. It'll work. I'll put a label on it. Sugar. <laughs> sugar. Watch out, Brandon. I'm coming for ya. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. I have a drink for you to try. I made an ice for you. Am I supposed to just like drink this? Why, oh. why are we recording? I want to see how you think, what you think about my right. iced tea creation. Mm -hmm. But you probably have to add like tea, two tables, teaspoons of sugar because it's a bit bitter. Right, right. So you want it nice and sweet, huh? Mm -hmm. Got it. I should stir this in. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this, but I'm going to do it. I mean, it's never a good thing when the camera's on and you ask me to try something, but I was thirsty, mm -hmm. and I do like iced tea, so. Okay, I think that's enough mixing. Is that, is that enough mixing? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try it. Um, kambe. That's... The tea was tea, yeah? That's not sugar. <laughs> that was salt. I taste the Atlantic Ocean. That sip, I tasted the entire Atlantic Ocean. Ah, oh, that was rancid. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was still wet when I received it. It was, was like it salt from the ocean of Mexico. Yeah. I don't know why I took another sip. That's not on me. Oh my god. I just, I, yeah, it's still salty. Wow, you are reacting way nicer than I thought you would. I don't know. I was like, something's gonna be sh** about this. And yeah, it was sh**, but here we Sorry, are. Sorry, Brendan. No. This is payback I, I for making it. fun of me and my Australian accent. Yeah, I can still tell you were very salty about that. <laughs> I deserved it. I deserved every sip of it. You took it like a man. Yep. Thank you. Well, that was a uh, that was delicious, you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Anytime. Yeah. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it. That was me trying to prank Brandon. He was just so nice. He fell for it because he was nice. He knew something was up. If you want to see more of those videos, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep making my skits. Thank you guys again for watching another episode of Sundays with True. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next week for some more shoot time. In the meantime, dumpling forever.